Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's make uh, soya bean chunks. Uh, this one keema. This is soya bean. What I have taken. I have boiled it and made it like this. As you can see. Exactly soya bean will be like this. So you need to boil it. And I just crushed it in my hand. And this is little bit two uh, pieces of paneer. And this is all the masala, that is garam masala, red chili powder, salt, little sugar and uh, pav bhaji masala, everything. This is kasuri methi. This is tomatoes. One tomatoes I have taken. This is soya bean chunk. And uh, green chili, onions, yogurt, that is curd. Jeera and curry leaves and some coriander that is cilantro and oil and ghee and the ginger garlic paste. Let's get started now with the recipe. So let's just heat the pan. I have taken non-stick pan. We'll just heat it for five to ten minutes, and I'll add jeera. a little oil on the top let the onions turn little transparent then we will add ginger garlic paste we will saute it 5 to 10 minutes Now we will add ginger garlic paste. We will saute it until the ginger garlic paste raw taste should go. So 
soya bean chunk is highly in protein and for vegetarians who don't eat non-veg, this is the best way to get protein. And people who have thyroid, just limit your soya bean intake. Saute it 5 to 10 minutes. And uh, people who are in wagon diet, it's the best source to get protein. Wagon diet is, uh, they don't have animal fat or anything. They go full vegetarian. So this soya bean is the best source to get protein in your diet. Exactly, I didn't get uh, soya bean ka this one. So I bought uh, soya bean churma I didn't get. So I bought the chunks and made it like this. You need to boil it in hot water. Add little salt and boil it. Because soya bean is so bland. So you need to add little salt while boiling. Yeah. Now we'll add chilies, green chilies. For vegetarian who can have it and enjoy the taste. Saute it 5 to 10 minutes. Now we'll add all the masala. With salt and sugar and chili powder, I have taken two, uh, two this one chili powder. That is one is lal milk, uh, Kashmiri lal milk, and one is pika lal milk. Now we'll add quarter cup of drinking water. up so we are adding yogurt to that and it goes well with chapatis naans pulka whatever you name it it will be tasty now 
வீட்டில் சோயாபீன் சாங் I have roughly uh, chopped it. You can see it. Now we add kasuri methi. and leave it for 5 to 10 minutes to mix up with the masala we will cover it for 5 to 10 minutes You can even add the curry leaves. I have not added curry leaves. Yeah. I think it's done already. We have boiled soya bean so it won't take much time. So now In the top, I'll add some paneer. So that it gives a very good taste. Yeah, your soya bean, uh, chunk, keema is done. It's very good in protein and uh, protein intake is very necessary. So yeah, your so soya bean keema is ready to serve. Thank you friends, subscribe my channel, like and comment, bye.